Teslas are considered to be some of the safest cars in the world. They've consistently achieved five-star safety ratings from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA, in the United States. Top Safety Pick Plus awards from the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, or the IIHS, and high scores from various ratings bodies all around the world. Back in 2018, Tesla's Model S, 3, and X achieved the lowest probability of injury across all cars, not just for the year, but including every car that NHTSA had ever tested, and they continue to be ranked at the top today. Even the Model X, Tesla's higher-end SUV, received a 5-star rating in every category and subcategory. This is exceptional because while SUVs are generally safe vehicles, they do have a higher probability of rollover. Yet Tesla's Model X conquered this shortcoming and officially became the first SUV ever to receive a perfect crash test rating back in 2017. And since then, Tesla has taken their learnings and improved safety even further throughout their entire vehicle lineup. Take Tesla's latest Model Y SUV. Towards the end of 2022, it earned a 5-star safety rating from the European New Car Assessment Program, or Euro NCAP, which was the highest overall score of any vehicle ever tested under Euro NCAP's newest and most stringent testing procedures. It even outdoes the perfectly rated Tesla Model X. This has been critical for Model Y since it's quickly becoming the best-selling car in a number of geographies all around the world. Tesla CEO Elon Musk predicted last year that Model Y will be the top-selling vehicle globally by unit volume this year in 2023, and it already appears to be the best-selling vehicle by revenue from 2022. Model Y's safety is of the utmost importance as it massively expands Tesla's reach, touching a huge number of consumers and needs to keep them safe throughout their daily lives. So how is Tesla able to essentially break new safety records and build some of the safest production cars on the planet? And before we continue, stop using Yahoo Finance, stop using Google Finance, and visit our website, themarketisopen.com, where we have instant stock quotes and financial data going back 10 years, and it's all freely available. Tesla has what they call a dual approach to safety engineering, which simultaneously involves developing passive and active safety systems. This means that the vehicles are architected in exceptionally innovative ways to reduce the effects of an accident, but are also implementing a second layer of safety embedded in software, which helps the vehicle avoid the accident in the first place. The objective of a vehicle's body structure and physical design is to prevent or minimize unintended acceleration of the vehicle or its occupants in the event of a crash. And furthermore, the vehicle should prevent harmful objects from penetrating the cabin. Tesla accomplishes these two goals in a number of ways. Due to the lack of an engine block, its vehicles have large crumple zones in the front and rear that can absorb much of the impact instead of transferring it to the passengers. Unlike combustion engine vehicles, electric cars have large battery packs that sit below the floor and Tesla fortifies these packs which also act as barriers to prevent intrusion into the cabin. Electric vehicles also have the advantage of situating the heavy battery pack and motors low down in the vehicle, which greatly reduces the center of gravity and therefore the risk of rollover, something that's especially important for SUVs. And that's why, according to NHTSA, the Model Y has the lowest rollover risk of any SUV ever recorded since it was assessed in 2021. Now, both the Tesla Model Y and Model 3 were designed on the same platform, yet there are safety-related differences between these two vehicles, with one being an SUV and the other a sedan. Because Model Y is a heavier vehicle with a larger cabin space, the body structure is fortified even further than the Model 3. Tesla has also been putting in large aluminum gigacastings into the rear and front of its Model Ys that help to prevent cabin intrusion. These Giga castings will make their way into their other vehicles such as Cybertruck as we're seeing with a 9,000 ton Giga Press coming up at Giga Texas and eventually the Model 3. Although all of Tesla's vehicles are surrounded with essentially a roll cage built into each car 
that's made from an ultra-high strength steel structure that protects the passenger compartment. At one point years ago, this structural design aided in a Tesla Model S roof crushing test that ended up breaking the crushing machine. Tesla's next level safety capabilities were also unexpectedly demonstrated in a wild accident that occurred on January 2nd, 2023, when a Tesla Model Y drove off of a 250 foot cliff in California into a rocky mountain, completely destroying the vehicle. Shockingly, however, all four occupants survived, with the adults in the front having non-life-threatening injuries and the children in the back were unharmed. The fire department stated that accidents on that cliff are not rare. We do respond to a lot of vehicles on that cliff. What's rare is that we do not get a lot of survivors. Surviving this type of accident is very rare. Now, according to data from Auto Insurance EZ, Electric vehicles are 100 times less likely to combust versus a vehicle containing a combustion engine. But even in the rare event of a fire, the front of a Tesla is shielded to greatly slow down a fire and protect the passenger cabin. That said, Tesla continues to shift the majority of its new vehicle production to make use of lithium iron phosphate batteries, typically found in more affordable models since LFP batteries have less range per unit weight but these cells are more stable even at higher temperatures and less likely to catch fire. The company has also recently introduced new 4680 battery cells which are found in some Model Ys produced at the Giga Texas facility. These cells appear to have a thicker casing to prevent penetration and to avert a fire from spreading to other cells. Now it's not just the structure of the Tesla that makes it so safe, but there are even more advanced layers that help to further protect the people inside the car. One of which is Tesla's high-tech airbag system that is like no other vehicle. For starters, the front passenger airbags are designed to change shape based on the type of crash. In an angled or offset crash, there are active vents that can change the internal pressure in order to enhance protection of the occupant's head. There are also knee and curtain airbags that can be deployed in specific areas of the vehicle and a collapsible steering column. This is important along with a solid frame around the vehicle to reduce intrusion into the cabin, which allows more space for Tesla's front and side curtain airbags to inflate and provide better cushions. As a matter of fact, during the Joe Rogan podcast, Elon Musk stated that the airbags are now dynamically calculating the type of firing based on how the passenger is seated and how much they weigh in real time. The airbags are so good now that the seatbelt almost no longer matters if accidents occur. But that said, Tesla isn't giving up on seatbelts yet. Instead, they're doubling down, making seatbelts even more effective. Tesla is now incorporating their autopilot AI software and cameras to literally look out the window and see and detect if a crash is about to occur in order to act more quickly. They can choose to deploy airbags or even activate seatbelt pretensioners earlier than if they had only used impact detection. And as was said at the 2022 Tesla annual shareholder meeting, because Teslas are all connected, they can update their crash safety stats in real time and use over-the-air updates to improve their behavior of these mechanisms like airbags and seatbelts. Tesla showcased in the second quarter 2022 slide deck that using seatbelt pretensioners together with Tesla Vision, they were able to noticeably reduce unintended and dangerous occupant acceleration. Um, our safety team also introduced a feature that tensions seatbelts if the Vision system detects imminent collision, uh, which has never been done before. So um, you can imagine that if you have a seatbelt that uh, only tensions upon impact, uh, you have very little time to tension the seatbelt. Um, if you've got to be, the car has literally got to be crunching to trigger the seatbelt tensioner. But because we have vision, we can actually see that a collision is about to occur uh, with 100% probability before it actually happens. Um, and so we can tension the seatbelts um, and we can even adjust the, uh, the airbag deployment uh, because we, we can see, not just feel. Um, this is a, a fundamental safety advantage that Teslas uh, are now able to offer. And then this is also an over-the-air update. So if this, this is something that will be in place in, in all 
cars that have at least uh, AP3 hardware. This really starts to feed into Tesla's expertise as a software and connected company. In North America, for instance, Tesla vehicles with adaptive suspension can automatically adjust the ride height before encountering a rough stretch of road. Tesla does this by using its vision and other sensors to collect fleet data and continuously update and inform other Teslas, similar to how Waze works. They're also considering the safety aspect of their user interfaces by making small detailed changes, such as important vehicle controls like defrost, windshield wipers, and seat heaters, just one touch away, starting with the V11 software. Now, Tesla is a strange automaker in that they don't produce a specific model for a given year. Instead, their development of vehicles follows a software paradigm where a feature or improvement gets released when it's ready and doesn't need to wait for the following year. This means Tesla can make hundreds of small changes in their vehicles each month, allowing them to iterate much more quickly by shipping product out to customers, getting real-world feedback and data right away, and making modifications accordingly. This is especially necessary for ADAS and autopilot software development. Not only do Tesla vehicles protect the people inside the car, but they aim to protect cyclists, pedestrians, and other road users as well. Autopilot, for instance, can keep the car in its lane, maintain safe distance from other vehicles, and perform a number of driving tasks automatically, such as braking to avoid hitting pedestrians. This is a significant factor in getting Tesla such a high safety score and crash test rating by completely avoiding most accidents in the first place. But the latest breakthrough in Tesla's AI capability, however, comes from what they call their occupancy network. This uses the surrounding camera system as the only sensor, along with advanced neural nets, to predict drivable areas that the car will be able to navigate safely given parameters such as speed, direction, and location combined with the vehicle's external environment. This way, the car will try to never go into a space where it will cause an accident. And Tesla is running this software on their vehicles today, which has allowed them to drastically improve their self-driving navigation technology at a more rapid pace. Now, there's more to automotive safety than just mitigating accidents, and there are several other reasons why Teslas are the safest choice. Electric vehicles themselves have fewer moving parts and therefore less maintenance is required, which means fewer opportunities for mechanical failure. They also don't produce emissions, which can improve air quality and reduce the risk of short to long-term respiratory issues for drivers and passengers. This has been especially crucial and immediately practical for those who were affected by forest fires, for example, and located in areas with a hazardous breathing environment. Tesla vehicles come equipped with the bioweapon defense mode, which is basically a giant HEPA filter that can filter out nearly all pollution and particles from the vehicle cabin to protect the health of the occupants. At Tesla, ensuring safety has always been a top priority for Elon Musk. The seatbelts and airbags in Tesla vehicles play a crucial role in the company's overall safety design, which also includes advanced driver assistance systems and a robust, sturdy passenger compartment. These features work together to provide an excellent safeguard for Tesla's customers. So how important do you think safety is when making a purchase decision for a new car? And do you think Tesla's track record of radical improvements and innovations to protect lives will prompt the rest of the industry to follow suit? For more information on Tesla's occupancy networks, watch my video on how Tesla safety is making it impossible to crash. Please hit the like button and subscribe, we would really appreciate that. And a huge shout out to all of our patrons that help to support our channel. Your support helps us to continue to make great content. Thank you guys so much for watching.